Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is our theme today. I'm going to react to this is Somalia. Even though I am from Sudan and Sudan is not far from Somalia, but I never visited Somalia and I don't know how it looks. So I said let me share this video and let me ask more about Somalia because I always ask my friends who are from Somalia and they tell me that Mogadishu is the capital and and the most fam famous food and the most famous food is called uh, Angera. So I don't know a lot about Somalia and I think that I need to know more about it. And I found this video and I wanted to share it. It is called This is Somalia. So let's, um, so without delay, let's get into it. Somalia's flood. Somalia is a country located on the east coast of Africa, forming the shape of a horn. The country was known as the land of gods to the ancient Egyptians, oh, the land, land of, of the tallest men to the ancient Persians, the land of cinnamon to the ancient Greeks, mm -hmm. the land of aromatics to the ancient Romans, and the land of the unicorn to the ancient Chinese. Mm -hmm. Frankincense, one of the gifts of the biblical three wise kings, came from ancient Somalia. To this day, the Roman Catholic Church still sources all of its incense exclusively from Somalia, which remains the world's largest producer. Ancient Somalis were the first to domesticate camels in 2500 BC and spread it to ancient Egypt and the Middle East. Somalia today still has more camels than any country on Earth. Oh, really? In the valleys of Somalia, How about the thousand year old rock paintings depict one of the horse riding cultures in the world. Horses were also an important unit in the cavalries of medieval Somali kingdoms. The horsemen in the kingdom of Adal, for example, wore protective armor for themselves and their horses. While the most famous horse in Somali history belonged to the Dervish king. The oldest surviving sewn ship in the world is the Somali bedded ship, who was historically used to ship important quantities of spices across the ancient world. Strabo credits the cinnamon people of ancient Somalia to be the first with the knowledge of the monsoons. The Somali people are one of the oldest Muslim nations in history. A 1,400-year-old mosque in the city of Zela dates back to the very foundation of Islam, when the early Muslims received refuge from the Aksumite Empire and the Horn of Africa. The medieval Silk Road gold trade between Africa and Asia was founded by Somali merchants from Mogadishu, who established a colony in modern Mozambique and extracted gold from the mines of the Mono Watapa Kingdom of Southern Africa. Madagascar was named after Mogadishu. Marco Polo, during his stay in Imperial China, confused the wealthy Sultanate of Mogadishu with the large island in the Indian Ocean. During that same period, the infamous Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan sent a delegation to Mogadishu to establish Mongol trade with medieval Africa. Suspected of being spies and scouting out the continent, the Mongols were imprisoned. Kublai Khan then sent another delegation, and they, too, were imprisoned. This swift action by the Somali sultans most likely saved Africa from any further Mongol interest. The Somali Empire of Adal introduced cannon warfare to the African continent in its war against Obsidian and the Portuguese Empire. Adal was also the first African.
the seven divisions of the Dervish army. The Somali Republic is the only African country whose borders were created by Africans. In 1960, the northern and southern parts of modern Somalia formed an historic union to establish a new country. Women in Somalia voted in elections before women in Switzerland. The first head of state to peacefully relinquish power in Africa was the Somali president, Aden Abdulli Osman. In 1962, future Somali president Ali Shamarke went on a state visit to the United States and was welcomed by President John F. Kennedy. Both presidents were assassinated in the 60s, despite their popularity with the masses. Two of Africa's and the Middle East's largest film festivals were the Mogadishu Film Festival and the Mogadishu Pan-African Film Symposium. The most expensive African film ever made is the 1982 four-hour-long epic, The Somali Dervish. Somalia's funky musical scene in the 1970s was popularly known as Moga Disco. One of Africa's first female fighter pilots was Osli Abedin Hassan of the Somali Air Force, who soloed her first flight in 1976. In 1981, Abdul Jabbar, the NBA's all-time leader in points, coached the Somali basketball team. During the African Championship in Mogadishu, the Somali team went from nobodies to continental heavyweights, jumping to Africa's top three. Somalia was the first African country to sign a friendship treaty with the Soviet Union. 5,000 Somali soldiers and students at one point trained and studied in the Eastern Bloc. Soviet cosmonauts trained in Somalia to prepare for their missions in space. In space oh. The airport of Berbera, with the longest runway in Africa, was also one of NASA's designated emergency landing points on Earth for the iconic space shuttle. The Ogaden War was the longest conventional war fought in Africa since World War II, with the heaviest mechanized and aerial battles. It resulted in the largest Soviet intervention and airlift since the march towards Berlin in 1945, just to push back the Somali soldiers who had overrun the Ethiopian Empire. The Somali pharmaceutical industry at one point mass-produced 48 essential drugs and was one of Africa's largest hubs for pharmaceuticals. Mogadishu was known as the White Pearl of the Indian Ocean and a major tourist magnet. Somalia in 1974 launched Africa's largest literacy campaign and won a UNESCO medal after the country's literacy rate jumped from 5% to 75%. Somalia built Burundi's Air Force, protected the borders of Tanzania and Uganda, flew jets for Zambia, defended Mozambique from the Portuguese, trained South Africans fighting apartheid, supplied Eritrea's War of Independence, sent troops to Angola, sent medics to Equatorial New Guinea, supported Egypt with naval logistics, supported Djibouti's independence movement, supported Zimbabwe and Namibia's war against the apartheid forces. The country has a rich heritage filled with ancient and medieval cities, castles, towers, and fortresses. Somalia has produced more supermodels than any other country from the African continent. The president of the International Court of Justice comes from Somalia, as does Olympic champion Bo Farrell, award-winning rapper and poet Kanan, Nobel-nominated author Narudin Farrell, U.S. Congresswoman Alana Omar, and many more. The Somali baby team are the undisputed champions, disputed champions of Africa, as Somalia is the only country in Africa with a baby team. The ancient Shah board game originates in Somalia and is played from Egypt to Tanzania. The most popular hat worn by Muslim men across East Africa originates and is exclusively produced in the Somali city of Brahma. Though Somalia is one of the most homogenous countries in the world, the country has several important minority populations, such as the Bajunis, the Brahmanese, the Benadiri, the Somali Bantu, and the Arabs. 
The Somali people are genetically and linguistically closely related to the Afars, the Hararais, the Oromos, the Bejas, the Amharas, the Saho, and other major groups in the Horn of Africa. Somalis are the only African ethnic group to have a sea named after them. Off the coast of Sicilies lies the Somali Sea. Despite emerging from a civil war, Somalia still has the most deep water ports on the African continent. With the longest coastline in mainland Africa, Somalia is one of five African countries selected by Rakan Shura to become a blue economy giant. Somalia has 52 million heads of livestock, 27 million sheep and goats, 15 million camels, 5 million cows, and one of the richest fishing grounds in the world. Somalia's dairy industry is worth $3.3 billion. According to the Spectator Index, Somalia is also ranked first in global camel milk production. A Financial Times article has stated that the best real estate investment in the world today is beachfront huts in Somalia. Somalia is considered a future energy superpower with an estimated 110 billion barrels of oil. One third of the world's uranium reserves, the strongest wind power potential in the world, and 3,000 hours of sunlight annually. Somalia is a continental leader in mobile money, with a market worth $32 billion a year, which is larger than the economies of Albania and Jamaica. Somalia has the cheapest internet cost per gigabyte in Africa, and more than 70% of adults use a mobile phone. The Somali shilling has been the best performing currency in the world between 2010 and 2020. Somali Airlines was the first airline flown entirely by African pilots. Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, is the fastest growing city in Africa and is enjoying a major reconstruction boom. Somalia's milk sea is the largest bioluminescent area in the world. A total of 649 species, Somalia is a hidden bird watcher's paradise. Somalia has national parks, it has beaches, it has rivers, it has deserts, it has jungles, it has valleys, and it has snow. In 2020, because of its aggressive fear on the forms, Somalia has achieved death relief and can finally focus on transforming the country and harnessing its vast potential. This is Somalia. At the end of the video, I want to say Somalia is beautiful and what I like the most about Somalia are the beaches. Somalia beaches are really beautiful. Uh, I want to say I hope Somalia become a great country in the future and I can visit Somalia uh, if I get the opportunity. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want me to react to any video, tell me in the comment section and I will react to it. Thank you for watching and see you next video.